We have a few topics to discuss in the new ball segment this week. Um, and I would actually like to start it a bit differently than usual, um, Zams. We've got our night watchman, as per usual, here next to me. Health and fitness. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Zams, do you want to share some tips? <laughs> health and fitness. Yeah, look, um, health is wealth, eh? Um, and obviously, you're a bit healthier than I am at the moment. You stopped drinking, eh? For a I, while now. I, I have. I'm, I'm on a, a six-month sabbatical now. Unbelievable. Going well. I've stopped. Have you stopped? I haven't stopped drinking, but I actually work out almost daily, um, three to four times a week. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Zam's golf is not a workout, eh? Is it? Listen, it's 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 part of the plan. You stop the drinking first, and then you you move on to other things. I'm walking on the golf course. And I'm gonna I'm gonna do the comrades in three years. Anyway, why I wanted to co- cover health and fitness because, as Zam says, it is wealth. Wealth, right? It is hundred percent. That's all we have. It's such a blessing to be healthy. And it's our responsibility to do as much as we can, nutrition-wise. And you don't need a gym, you know. I work out in my garden, actually. I have a rope tied to a branch. I climb up and down there. I do some sit-ups. I do some push-ups. I actually gym with my little daughter. Um, I think I posted something on Instagram. But if you don't have a gym, it's no excuse. You can go for a 30-minute walk in the streets. There's a lot to do. Stay healthy. It's important, eh? Are you doing to me or the audience? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's move on. So with our key partnership segment today, we're going to be talking to a guest that's a really, really good friend of both of us. Um, can't wait to see his face. But I'm going to be talking to him about relationships. Um, I know he's newly um, taken or dating the woman of his dreams, as he tells me. So we'll find out a bit more about that. But about relationships, what is the key? What, what, is, what is that about? I've, I've been married for 10 years, so I obviously know the secret, but... You, well, well, this is why you're here to share. I'm, <laughs> we're here to listen. I'm sure our mystery guest would love to get some advice. It about starts. I can tell you, it starts with communication. That's that's the the number one thing that you cannot get wrong. Okay. So, whether it's a friend or a girlfriend, whether it's your wife or a golfing partner, it starts with communication. You can't arrive at the tee at eight o'clock when you're actually supposed to be teeing off at seven thirty. You know what I'm saying? Because then remember when you lied. <laughs> To Danielle and said that you were going to do a shoot for golf and you're actually doing an interview, but you promised you're not going to do interviews with her yeah. anymore. Yeah. And then halfway through, you're like, no, actually, I can't lie to her. I'm going to tell her the truth now. It's fine. She'll exactly. be fine with it. Yeah, yeah. So but it is communication. But, yeah, 100%. But, and, but a small lie is okay sometimes, as long as you know it's benefiting your partner and not taking them down. All right? So communication, people, it's key in relationships. It's key to be talking to our partner today, our key partnerships man, he is a great friend of ours, and we're going to be talking to him very soon. And I'm not going to give away who it is yet. Um, you know who it is, Ams. You went um, to a good school, yeah. I yeah. Know. You went to the same school together? He went to a good school, yeah, yeah. Oh, he went to he a good school. He followed me, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he followed in good tracks. So um, it is none other than I'm not going to tell you, but he is the swiller, he's the thriller, he's the demolisher. He is David Miller. <laughs> 